What is going on guys and welcome back to our small tutorial on Recycler Views. I am your host Carlos Valentin, a Udemy instructor that teaches advanced Android courses. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our app here. We already made the layout for the search bar here so now we need to make the layout for these actual card views. Let's go ahead and get that started. Let's come here into our rest folder, let's go into our layout here, right click new. Yeah, we just fire. Let's actually call this one list underscore football. And let's just say item. So item. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and go into text here. I am going to okay, space this out because that's too clustered for me. There we go. And there we go. Okay, get rid of this orientation and we're good to go. Let's actually make this card view, which is there. We need to change the site to wrap content because we don't want every element to take up one whole page. Okay, looks fine. So now we can actually get started here. We're going to go ahead and start with the relative layout. The actual width here is going to be match parents. Then the height, let's actually just give it 250 dp. It looks fine. Let's space this out here. So now let's actually define an image view. Now the height is going to be match parents, or the width is going to be match parent, and the height, let's just say 200 dp. Let's actually go ahead and give it an ID. So ID ID. We're going to call this one list underscore football underscore item underscore image view. Perfect. Okay, so now let's actually go ahead and define a progress bar, wrap content, wrap content. We're going to go ahead and give it an ID as well. So ID, ID, list, underscore, football, item, and instead of imagery, we're just going to say progress bar. Okay, looks good. And then after this, we're just going to say center and parent is going to be equal to true. Now, we should just have a little imagery with the progress bar in the middle. So let's actually take a look at that. And everything looks good. So that's exactly what we have there. All that's left now is just to make a text view underneath this imagery that's going to have the team's name. So simple enough, let's actually come here and I should say text view, wrap content, wrap content. This actually needs an ID as well. We're going to call this one list item or list football item. We're just going to say text view is fine. There we go. Perfect. And after that, we're going to come here. We're just going to say center and parent or center and parent is going to be true. And then after that, we're just going to say below. ID and this is just going to be below the list image view, which is right there. Okay. And oh, whoops, this is text view. So this actually should be image view instead of text view. So let's try that one more time. Image view. There we go. Okay. So let's actually go ahead and give it a text. Let's just say test just to see how it looks like. And there it is. Perfect. So that's exactly what we wanted, just right below the image, as we can see there. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of margin top so it's not too close to it. So margin top, or actually, this should just be margin top. Let's just give it maybe just 5dp, something small, nothing too crazy. Just so it's a little bit, there we go. Let's actually go ahead and give it a text size as well. So text size. Oh, I'm just going to type in size instead. That'll probably help a lot. So size, there we go. Let's just going to go ahead and give this maybe 18sp, a little bit bigger than usual. And we're going to make it bold. So style going to be, eight, or just bold is fine. Okay, so there we go. Now we can just style up this card view a little bit so it looks a little bit better. So let's actually come up here into the card view section all the way up top. I'm going to go ahead and space this out. So the first thing we're going to do is give it a margin. So just type in margin here. And we're going to say 5dp. So what this is going to do is it's going to give each of the cards some space. And then we're actually going to give it a card elevation as well. So actually just type in app like so and just type in card. And it should ask us to import that statement. Let's see if it does that again. There we go. So I'll enter that. And I'm going to space this out because I like the way it looks when it's nice and spaced. And we're actually going to just call this one card elevation, which should be there. Give it a 5dp. This is going to give us a nice shadow for our card, as you guys can see there. After that, we're actually going to go ahead and give it a radius. So let's just say app card radius. And let's just do 10dp. It's going to make our corners nice and round, as you guys can see there. So perfect. Then after that, guys, let's give it some padding. So let's just say padding app. And let's just say content padding. Maybe just maybe 10 dp, something nice. Perfect. Okay, so now we have a better looking card view there. Now, to finish this off, we do need to do something with this image view. We need to actually define the scale type. So, just type in scale type, center crop. So, what this is going to do, guys, is going to take the picture and actually just show the center of it. And this is very efficient to do with your image views just because it's going to make the picture look a lot, a lot cleaner, crisp. And it's also going to take less time to load it. So whenever you guys use image views, I highly advise you guys to use scale types in the crop. You guys can use fit x y, which is going to make it exactly how the dimension is, but that tends to give your picture a lot of pixelation. I like to use center crop, but again, you guys can use whatever you like though. So center crop. 
All right, guys, so now with this layout completed, we actually did finish up both the layouts we needed. So we actually finished up the header as well in the last video. And now that with this done, we can move on the next video with our view holder as well as a custom object to keep going inside this tutorial. Okay, so just one more time for the road, guys. My name is Carlos Valentin. I am a Udemy instructor. I do teach advanced Android concepts such as RX Java, Firebase, and advanced Android UI. So we will continue next time. Until then, guys, don't forget to keep coding.